Hey Mikey, how's it going? My name is Hans Vanish and I'm making this video from Seattle, Washington. So here's my Incubus story. When I was in high school, you guys were coming through on your Morning View tour and a friend of mine named Holly had tickets to go see you guys, but fortunately for me, she wasn't able to go and she gave them to me. And at that point, I hadn't been to a concert before and you guys simply blew me away right from the start. Um, just the quality of your sound, the energy that you had, your stage presence, and the way you interacted with the audience is all just amazing. And um, I was really inspired by that. And uh, later on that week, I ended up digging through my mom's closet and I dug out her old um, classical guitar that she had in college. And so I went online, just started looking up some chords and some basic technique, and started playing about every day. And after a little while, I could start learning some Incubus songs. And there's just a lot of little things that I noticed in the way that you play that um, I really liked. The first was that you never really use any standard chords. Um, you're using a lot of alternative chord voicings and a lot of inverted chords. My favorite one that you guys do is that first chord in the intro of Just a Phase, um, this one. And it's just little things like that um, that really defined your sound and what really made me like the music from the beginning. Um, I also started looking more into your technique, doing a lot of the bends and slides just really fast in and out of notes. And then you also do a thing where you're finger picking but you're still using your pick. And so just trying to use this technique and kind of put it in my own songs. Um, I just started working from there. So after working with the acoustic for a little while, um, I ended up getting an electric. And to get that incubus sound, I went out and the first thing I got was a phaser and then also a delay and echo pedal. And I don't know if you can see on the screen, but there's actually little dots, different colors up here around the dials because that's what I heard that you did in an interview. And so, keeping trying to play like you, I got some more little articles here, you can see you're on the cover, and just kind of learned a little bit more about your technique and your style. Um, from there, I started looking at some of your influences, people like Andy Summers, Vi, um, Zappa, and I hadn't really heard any of them before, so it really just kind of opened up the doors for me, music-wise, too. So I kept playing through high school, and then into college, I ended up making a little band. And so we started um, scheduling practices, and then from there we went to doing some parties, and then school functions, open mic, then playing some bars. And by the end, we actually got to travel around the state a little bit and make music. And so being in this band, making original music, and performing, this was all inspired by that first concert that I saw you guys do, and especially by you, um, since I was playing guitar. And so a lot of the original work that we did was really influenced by you. So during this whole time that all this was going on, um, I was still really into Incubus, buying your albums, DVDs, um, going to your shows, and people were giving me gifts for that. My parents got me both of Brandon's books. Um, people were even making Incubus gifts. My sister's pretty creative, and she cut out this stencil and made me this shirt. Um, it has the Sanskrit on there, and then the Incubus font from the Crow album there on the side. Um, this used to be blue on the stencil, but I've worn it so much it's all faded out. And then the thing that really set me over the edge as a fan was um, when you were out with uh, your surgery, you sent out a uh, MySpace bulletin just wondering if people had any cool lightning stories. And I was taking an electromagnetism class at the time, and so I'd actually just done a report on lightning, so I sent you a little bit about that. And then also I'd been doing a bike tour earlier where a guy had had lightning strike um, in a cornfield next to him and he'd heard the corn popping and went out in there and actually picked up some of this like mutilated popcorn and showed it to us back at camp so I sent you that and then at the end of that I just had a, a question for you where I said um, one of the reasons that I love your band is the non-traditional instruments that you add to the mix especially for a rock band I was wondering if you had anything new that you were experimenting with for future songs and I couldn't believe it. The next morning I woke up and you'd already replied. And here's what you said. Um, hey man, thanks for the story. Amazing. I'm currently working on a concert piece for a full-size symphony orchestra. It should be performed sometime in early 2008. So I got this last April and ever since then I've just been really stoked for what you're doing with this piece and just been really excited to hear it. And now that we know when it's coming out and that you have this contest, um, I'm just hoping that you'll pick me as the person from Washington to be able to go see it. So I just wanted to say thank you for the music and for inspiring me and all these other people on the web. 
and um, thanks to the management for organizing this. And I hope to see you down in LA and we can party serious. Later.